Blackstone. Uh, we hope you're safe. We hope you're safe and I hope you have a great time. We miss you. Hi, Hi church. church. Um, just wanted to start off by wishing um, all our moms a very happy Mother's Day. Um, what you do is so important. I hope that your family takes some time today to let you guys know how much you guys are appreciated and loved. All things considered, we know that we're very fortunate that uh, God is still providing for us, um, giving us stability, um, and, and keeping us healthy and safe. So in that sense, we don't have too much to complain about. But at the same time, like many of you guys, life really has changed. So we've really had to adapt. And try to incorporate homeschool, um, some time outside, um, some electronics time for them. Um, and then um, trying to teach them some Korean and then also some arts and crafts time, which is probably more for me than for them. But, um, but it's been good for them to have a routine. Um, it's been good for um, our sanity. We did create a structure. Um, we try to identify and be intentional about, um, you know, doing things together as a family. Mina and I have picked up hobbies on our own. Um, I think just, uh, keeps us mentally healthy. I built a, uh, put up a basketball hoop. So we've been using that. The kids have been biking. We've been trying to stay active uh, as much as we can. Uh, Mina has been working on like it's called needle felting. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but uh, she, <laughs> she's an art major, so, cool. so I think she's tapping into the artistic side. Um, I've been uh, I built a new computer, so I've actually been I finally had some time to um, edit and look through some old travel videos. So I've been doing that on my spare time. We really miss seeing everyone in person, um, but we're also really thankful for um, our Sunday school teachers and children's ministry leaders. Um, I know it probably takes a lot of time and effort to put these videos together, but we've been watching it every Sunday, um, and we really appreciate all that you did for them. Mm -hmm, yeah, we appreciate uh, Pastor Jacob's voiceovers, and, uh, Daphne's dramatic readings. Um, the kids appreciate it too. Kids appreciate seeing the faces of all the teachers. Um, but on that note, uh, I think just being um, home, I think it makes us realize how important community outside just the family really is. There is like this longing uh, to get back together. It really is a longing. Um, but at the same time, we've also, uh, I'm glad that our church has continued CGs and journey groups. So we've been participating in that. It's, it's been really good for us um, just to be able to talk to others and to share life and, and to really speak um, scripture into our hearts during this time when our minds can wander. Um, so we're thankful. And um, yeah. Yeah, um, we miss seeing everyone. We can't wait to be able to see you um, face to face again. Bye bye. Hey, good morning, Cornerstone. Um, happy Sunday. And I can't wait for the day where we can physically all gather together to worship. Um, but in the meantime, I just wanted to update you guys on how I'm doing during this time. Um, I've been lucky enough to be able to continue to work from home during this time. Um, the job security is nice and I just feel really blessed that that's one thing I don't have to worry about. Um, but something that has been giving me a lot of joy during this time is seeing just all the church members um, supporting one another. Um, I can really sense the sense of community that we have. Um, and I guess during this time, um, I feel as though God is really testing me uh, because I have a lot of pride in um, having a sense of control and power over my life, um, that sense of security. But during this time, it's really challenging because it is really teaching me to kind of um, find my idols and re realize that I really do need to let go and let God just kind of take control over my life and really rely on Him. So um, that would be a prayer request maybe for myself and as well as for those that are also struggling with this, um, to continue to have hope that God is really in control, that there's um, nothing we should be afraid of. Um, but um, other than that, um, this time has been a great time for me to just kind of spend time with family. Um, really enjoying the time of um, playing games, talk, and also even going for um, long walks out when the weather's nice. So um, really enjoying the time that I'm being able to spend. Um, even learn how to cut hair, cut my own hair, cut my dad's hair. Um, so if any of you guys need a haircut, um, let me know. 
um, cut David's hair, so Hi, he can maybe vouch for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, I just pray that everybody continues to stay safe until the day we can all gather together. Um, thank you very much. Uh, hope you guys have a great Sunday. Church, this is Sharon. This is Eric. Um, I hope everyone has been doing well during this quarantine. Um, I've been doing well. I've been cooking and um, baking a lot, which has been probably my biggest adjustment because I'm used to <laughs> going to restaurants with friends or uh, Eric or just with people. So I think being at home. <clears throat> Um, cooking has been a big adjustment for me. What about you, Eric? Uh, adjustment has been relatively easy for me. I'm just the biggest difference in my life is that I've been teleworking instead of going into the office, which I've enjoyed. <laughs> uh, don't have to deal with traffic, and it allows me to spend more time with Sharon. Um, get, we've been able to get to know each other a little better. Uh, it allows me to take take my dog out for walks during the day, which has been really nice for her. An encouragement for the church, um, I guess, would be to uh, join a CG or find a way to have fellowship. Because I think for me, it's been um, good to do CG with Eric and with the Water Church. Um, just see how everyone's doing. And also, I think this time has been encouraging because I've been reaching out and talking <laughs> to my <laughs> friends and um, just being more intentional with my time. Um, yeah, I hope everyone is doing well and